Oh, hello, and welcome to an episode of uh, Broke Man's Kitchen. Today we're going to be teaching you how to fry an egg. Uh, here we have the canola oil brought to you by our lovely sponsors at Aldi. And then you want to get the oldest frying pan that you can find, uh, the one that's bent and has the and has the um, the backside that looks like um, it's uh, been burned for about 16 years straight. Um, first, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and shake it up a little bit, shake it up, and then I want to give a little small layer, not too much, a little small layer of some canola oil on there, right? And then I want to put I want to put I'm gonna put the uh, the uh, the burner at a mid flame, mid flames. I don't want it too hot when my eggs touch that pan. Okay, and then I'm gonna get 12 large eggs. These are grade A, also sponsored by Aldi. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna have my garlic powder ready. Uh, nothing like a little bit gar a little garlic into your uh, into your breath in the morning when you're kissing your little loved one. You know. All right, so what you want to do is you want to take the egg and you want to go ahead and... Um, you want to take the other egg and then you want to go ahead and smash it onto the... Uh, the ah! Ah! All right, all right. And you put it onto the... Oh, it's all over the place. All right. Put it onto the pan like so. All right? I like to keep the little shells and sometimes I'll just put them on my eyes and just make some little googly eyes or something, you know? All right, and that's one down the hatch. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to give them some space, let them simmer a little bit, and then it's going to build. Oh, I got to pick that little egg, up. and then it's going to simmer a little bit. It's going to turn into a white film. Well, at, this, at which point I want to take a spatula. Most Puerto Rican parents use this to beat the crap out of their kids, but I'm going to use this to um, fry up some awesome eggs. All right, and I'll get back to I'm you guys take once some I flip turkey them. bacon. Some nice long strips of turkey bacon and I like to put, put it right in between the eggs as to separate them because I like the juice of the, the actual turkey bacon to go ahead and to to get involved with that with the taste of the flavoring of the egg ow ow you don't want to burn yourself like I just did right now all right and I put three little strips right there all right and I like the grease of the bacon or like just just the, the, the juices inside the bacon let it marinate let it simmer inside the eggs there and again, what I like to do is, what you want to start doing is establishing some boundaries, okay? Like a good ex-wife, a good ex-wife or ex-girlfriend, you want to establish some boundaries on your eggs, all right? You want to start cutting it up. You want to dig into the, the egg white and then separate a little bit. This not only separates it, it makes it easier to flip, but it also separates it and makes it easy to flip. All right, now I have a very good, and I'm going to go ahead and bring you over here. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in here. Look at that. Look how good that is. Now, you see, you don't want to have your bacon like that, like the way I have it there. You want to have it on a flat surface. You want to kind of have it on a flat surface, but I'm going to be cooking these for a while because I do like my bacon a little bit crispy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on the eggs for right now because they are made a little bit faster. Okay? So you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to flip this egg here. All right, let me see if I can do this here. And notice how I separated, separated slowly, slowly, slowly. So, and then what I'm gonna do, ah, look at that. Look at that, it was a good flip. That was a very good flip. I'm like the Bruce Lee of flipping eggs. Look at that, a nice little fried egg. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lower the flame a little bit. You guys see the flame here? All right, because we don't want to burn anything just yet. And I'm going to flip my other oh, eggs. Give so we'll a nice little flip. Oh. Okay. All right, so what, what, what happened there is uh, is just the the uh, the smoke detector was warning me and letting me know that, um, that I'm doing a great job. So what I did was I took a battery out of it just for now. You want to do that, especially if you have kids. Um, Take the battery out and just use it for the remote control later. All right, so I have everything separated. Now my bacon's looking a little bit darker now. A little lean there. 
really like this. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some toast ready. I have some bacon, get some eggs, and I'm gonna get some buttered toast. Really good breakfast for yourself, very nutritious. Um, and we'll get back to you once I flip these right, again. So I got and get uh, the everything under control again, everything's clean. Um, and uh, it looks like the smoke detector is not going off anymore. Once again, this is a broke man's kitchen. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have here. A really nice little shindig there. <clears throat> not the most attractive looking. But what I like to do also is that once I'm done and I'm ready for plating, I'll go ahead and I'll put some salt and pepper on there. And I'm going to go ahead and take these off the flame because my bacon looks nice and dark. You want to make it nice and dark with a little bit of crisp on the edges. It depends on how you like it. Personally, I like my eggs with a little bit of soft yolk on the inside. And I'm going to go ahead and get a plate ready. I'm going to go ahead and get a plate ready. I'm going to put it right down here. I took it out the flame already. You gotta remember also that eggs really get quick. Uh, uh, eggs really turn cold pretty quickly. So once you're ready for plating, you have to be ready to serve. Okay? You have to be ready for to serve. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the bacon. Oh, and my toast is just ready. I'm going to put the bacon like so on top of each other. Little pigs do a little menage. Little menage, as as Drake might say. Um, and we have some toast ready, and we're done with plating. I'm going to go ahead and show you here. Look at that. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. All right? Now, once I have it here, what I like to do is, I like to go ahead and I like to take my salt and pepper, and I'll give it a little splash, a little, little, little pizzazz, a little pizzazz of the salt, not too much. Not too much, it already has a lot of cholesterol in there. And then I want to get into some hot, some nice fresh pepper. I give it a nice little twist, a nice little twist, and twist. So I have three, okay? Okay. Um, some people like to use the garlic salt um, or the garlic powder. I didn't use it today um, because I was a little afraid I was going to burn the house down. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and throw some butter, a little bit of of, of non-fat or low-fat margarine is, is what I'd prefer because I'm trying to get rid of the spare tire here. I have some awesome crystal light that have already um, poured um, and I'm ready to dig in. So um, without any further ado, this is a broke man's breakfast. Uh, we have turkey bacon, we have uh, wheat toast, and we have some fried egg and a canola um, uh, spray. So right now I'm going to dig in and I'm going to get ready for uh, the Bears game. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and throw some maybe some cheese on there. Some nice craft singles. Authentic authentic fake cheese. And, um, and remember guys, you don't need a lot of money to go ahead and make yourself a good breakfast. I've sat down now and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Now it's the time where we, um, we go ahead and give it a whirl, okay? I'm going to try some of the egg here. It's a little bit hard on the inside. I prefer a little bit softer, but hey, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. <coughs> it was amazing. Oh, it is really good. Ah. Uh, <coughs> Can I mess up toast? Um, the toast is good. To toast is um, is all right. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure the bacon's gonna go bacon's always good. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of the bacon here. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Um, everything came out amazing. Um, maybe a little bit on the salty side. And I'm gonna enjoy the food. Thank you very much. You guys uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Keep trying to find the ways to keep you satisfied. Anything you want, show them, let's ride.